Maybe we should have gone on a boat. What boat should we have gone on? The Thames, yeah? Look at that, beautiful. We're in, um, what, what, what restaurant are we in, Ambrose? We are in the Mondari. Mondari. Okay, lovely seeing you. I ain't seen you for a couple of months. It's been a while, isn't it? Well, you've moved on, you know, like... Don't be people silly. People to see places to go and everything else, you know? What I'm can using, I say? No. Well, right now, I'm using my uh, Samsung S7 with a microphone connection to it. This is the sign of the times. This yep. is where we're going with technology. You got it. I don't really need my um, Canon 5B Mark III. Yeah. I'm not saying that you're not important. You are important, but I don't actually need to bring it today. It's very convenient just to use this piece of software here. We are in the most rapidly advancing technologically a man's ever Man. known. Crazy. You know, where communication is mm. what it's all about. Yes. And knowing sort of brief passages of history, yes. you know, he who can deliver most quickly is king. There you go. But he who can deliver most expeditiously and lastingly is emperor. And as far as I recall, emperors ruled in dynasties. Kings were just a few decades. Anyway, that's enough of that. <laughs> I love Sun it. shining, birds Sun are shining. singing. Right. Chris Eubank Jr. versus the tough German, which is the well, Armenian losing in Germany, Arthur Abraham. Now, this is a big step up for him, isn't it? It's a big step. Big step up. In, it's a big in, step, but it's one he's, he's yeah. ready for. You know, yeah. it's one that he's ready yeah. for. Yeah. yeah. You know, he's been yeah. very unfortunate. Yeah. He fought in February. We were yeah. looking for continuity. Yeah. But of course, you know, when you work with a broadcaster who are going out almost on a, on a self pioneering. Um, initiative to introduce box office which isn't just about boxing it's also you know whether it's wrestling mm -hmm. you know whether it, it, it's mixed martial arts whether it's a, the newest film mm -hmm. or whatever mm -hmm. it comes from that same station so they have to get things right and things right means that the economics have got to be right so the fortunate thing here is you know the lad mm -hmm. is a man as he said in the press conference mm -hmm. has shown mm -hmm. You know, great loyalty, mm -hmm. tremendous amount of humility. It hasn't, you know, stopped thinking about what he should mm -hmm. or he should not be doing. Mm -hmm. So he's got good syntax, good order. Mm -hmm. He's got everything mm -hmm. in the line of what it should be. And the opponent is perfect for him. Well, he's a name, isn't he? He's, he's a wall of obduracy. Well, this is it. You know, here is a guy, mm -hmm. 10 defences of Mm. The world middleweight title WBA, moved yeah, up yeah. with the with the superstars of yeah. boxing Carl and, and yeah. Carl Frotch, you know, Andre Andre Ward, Andre Ward and of yeah. course Andre Durrell. Durrell as well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, when we had the infamous yeah. last round, Super Six, yeah, yeah. So so he's carried on. He's been consistent. Mm -hmm. He looks a million dollars, mm -hmm. and the, and the, the most. <laughs> Well, it's amusing, but also alarming, in fact, it was his response to the claim that you are one dimension. And his response was, I only need one dimension. And, and Eubank, to his credit, had said it, mm -hmm. one dimension, but he's very good within that dimension. And we know what that dimension is. Dimension is that dimension is walk forward, mm -hmm. throw punches, mm -hmm. tuck up, and then the last 30 seconds of the round, try and steal the round. Well, we look forward to when this fight gets to two minutes and 29 seconds because something explosive is going to happen each round or each time he tries to do that you've got to meed the fire with fire, fire with speed fire. kills okay. speed it's one thing when you're walking forward and you know you're tucking up and you can count the punches rat tat tat rat tat tat it's another thing when speed is be deviling and be dazzling you has he seen better days? Would you say that he's had some some tough fights in, 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 in his career that has obviously put him to the stage now where Arthur may, may have nowhere else to go? And it's a, it's a name, but... Well, to be perfectly honest, well, no. If George no. Groves yeah. could have yeah. got this fight, I'm yeah. sure he would have. If James yeah. DeGale yeah. could have yeah. picked this fight, yeah. they would have picked it because, yeah. one, it's a name right. to go to the box yeah. office. Yeah. Two, mm -hmm. it's somebody that... that mm -hmm in the minds of the, the consumers, mm -hmm. he's going to bring a threat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is he known in the UK, Arthur Abraham is his name? Arthur Abraham's the, yeah. Abraham is known okay. very well. He fought Wayne Elcock, unless right. I'm going okay. mad. Okay. He, he fought Howard Eastman, unless okay. I'm going so, mad. Yeah, yeah. He fought um, 
Carl Frotch. Carl Frotch. So he's I'm known, so he's known enough. Martin Murray. But you're, you're talking about your Joe Blog uh, fan that kind of don't really watch boxing to well, a degree. Joe Blog fan. This, it? It's not the Joe Blog fan that you're looking for now because oh. people are going to put their money where their mouth okay. is. Okay. It's the extraordinary measure okay. of making the effort mm -hmm. to to subscribe to mm -hmm. pay per view. Mm -hmm. um, so that you get nearer to that red button process. Yeah. So this isn't the ordinary Joe Bloggs fan. This is a, that we are now saying to the fan, different from the last one, we're saying to the fan is, we're bringing you a bit of quality here. You're now going to see the birth, you know, of Eubank too. Mm -hmm. And um, Arthur Abrams is going to make sure that we deliver on that promise because over, mm -hmm. over his stretched out body on the floor, mm. he's going to win. Okay. Well, it's exciting times. Yeah, they are, really. I'm, I'm, I do believe it will be a tough fight. Yes. I actually see it being a very, very kind of toe to toe warfare because. That's what, it's it's going to be wonderful. It's going to be. Look, yeah. we saw what happened when he fights. fought Quinlan. Yes. New Bank yes. fought Quinlan. It yes. was like, bring it on. Yes. Whereas no one was yes. saying, get off the ropes or do this, that, and the other. Mm. Because you know, this lad was unleashed. No, and also, he's getting used mm. to the new weight. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, well, he is exactly. You're right there. Because yeah. he's actually a middleweight going up to super middleweight. It's, you have to adapt to the weight, don't you? Yeah, and, yeah, and in, yeah. In, in saying that's, this, yeah, remember, that's right. he came fractionally close yeah, to yeah. fighting James DeGale. Well, that would be amazing. That would well, be a mega fight, wouldn't it? It's there to happen. It's there to happen. Why hasn't that happened yet? That's the truth. To, it, to be they're right, both, honest, both parties are inexperienced at the highest level. True, true. You know, like in terms of matchmaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Diane DeGale, who's, who's James's manager, has got mm. to make decisions right okay. and she, she's going to do make the decisions that are right. in james's best interest right. to give him every advantage possible and that's exact good management mm -hmm. will do mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. you know if it was left to james he'd fight anybody you know he's fearless it, he, appears, he it appears that way when i've seen him a good few times yeah, he just you, doesn't you, bother he's, you've yeah, been yeah seeing, yeah yeah seeing, you know up close and he's personal i know where he's thinking it is, you, you know, know him firsthand yeah you've and managed so, him haven't you you've so, so yeah. well Kind of, would you use representative Ad -ad -ad advisor, advisor. Yeah. You know, to the to the right. to the whole Degal, whatever. Yeah. Um, and and in saying it again, but it's all about timing. Mm. What looks like value today mm -hmm. might be less value tomorrow. That you is know, true. James Degal versus true. George Groves versus Chris Eubank Jr. versus Any Callum Smith versus not so much Callum and Smith. And so we can so we can yeah. well. It only means he only means something in Liverpool. He don't mean nothing to the Callum Smith. Is it's worth talking about because here is a lad who every time he's been asked to step up, yeah, he has annihilated the person he's he not stepped pay -per -view up to. Though, is he? Sorry, oh, he's not. A pay he's not pay per view. You not can't yet, put him in with a George no, no, Grove no. and make that pay per view. Uh, no. no one's going to buy that. Well, I, I disagree. I think right. you could put him in with George Grove. Well, I made that pay per view. George Grove is a selling machine. But at pay per view though. Yeah, pay per view. So you if see, he's undefeated, if he's undefeated, if he wins, what right now? If if Callum Smith beats Anthony Durrell, right. Um, he could fight James DeGale right. or he could fight George Groves. He can't fight James DeGale because James is going to be ordered mm. by the IBF to defend his title right. um, against Andre Durrell. But he could fight George. Yeah. George, um, George Groves could fight Callum Smith and that, that's Chicken. a mighty yeah, fight. Yeah. Listen, it will sell out, it do 18,000 at the O2. It will sell out at mm. the Manchester Evening mm. News Arena. No, I've got no doubt about this at all. I it's all the question mm. of just being freed up. But I just think that the, the Gals, the Grows, and Eubank are very marketable. They're big names and they've proven. I mean, George and James yeah. was paid with you. Yeah. Eubank's marketable. Those three fighters are marketable. Callum Smith hasn't got to that stage just yet. I'm not saying he hasn't got the yeah. he hasn't got the if tools. It, well, the only way you can go yeah. into the equation yeah. is by winning. The right. Title. So, so he has to kind of title, prove himself, doesn't he? If he wins yeah. the title. Yeah. You know, he'll be up there. He's yeah. an amiable, yeah. mm. you know, mm. lovely guy. Of course, yeah, you know, yeah. he comes from that amazing Smith family. Yeah, you yeah, know, they're, yeah. they're, they're wonderful, really lovely, mm, decent mm. people. And boxing's in their blood. Mm, mm. It really, really is. So everyone's waiting for it to happen. Mm. You know, I, I don't want to make a, an analogy, but mm. I will. Mm. It's like, with the greatest respect, the Beatles, you know, worked and played forever and ever and ever and ever. And then, one day they woke up mm -hmm. and they become superstars and their life was never ever the same again. That's what happens. It's a bit like Andy Joshua when he beat Klitschko, he's you, you, a megastar right? you, that overnight, isn't he? Bigger star, worldwide. 
Absolutely. It was never, his life was never the same after that it's night. It's never going to be the same. It's never going to be now the same. Now he's a boxing manager. Man. Now he runs yeah, a whole yeah. boxing team and everything yeah, yeah. else, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. These are all added pressures yeah. that he never had before. Yeah. You know, when he put his head on his pillow, yeah. he's never going to be able to do that again. You know, the guy's he's six foot five. Yeah. The most stoppingly handsome man imaginable. <laughs> you know, yeah. he's African, like me. Yes. And um, yeah. and of course. Drives the women crazy, doesn't he? I mean, when, when I've said to women, I don't care about boxing, I just care about looking at Anthony Joshua. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, well, he actually hits people, but you, I, I'm you, not you, violent. You might not believe this, but yeah. Lloyd Hunnigan had the once same? had that off. Oh, did he? Nigel Benn had that, like, you cannot believe. Okay, so he had that kind of when you're impact there, on women. Well, of course, you know. Did kind Chris of has Senior that. have that a little bit, to a degree? That allure. I mean, the guy goes everywhere. I'm, I'm telling you now. See that bridge over there? Yeah. If, if Theresa May was walking across that bridge there, and Eubank was walking the other way, people would look at Eubank. You think I'm joking? You, you try it out. <laughs> it's, that, okay. it's charisma. He's got the charisma. He's, got it. He's there. You can't oh, no. rent charisma. I know. It's I know. something that you mm. have. So over there, or it's not there, is well, it? And then now we come back on here. Charisma. Go on. That's what sells pay per view. That's why. Well, this you is it. This is money. Is. We sat there now yeah. and watched. Yeah. Arthur Abrams never been in a press conference, and and endured this. Mm. Never. It's like mm. what? Mm. What am I coming mm. over mm. with, Dad? Can I? We're supposed to be German, so we respect people. Even though, of course, he's Armenian. He's also German, just mm. like I'm African, mm -hmm. and I was born there. Mm -hmm. Um. It, it, it's. Charisma is so important. It's such an important ingredient. Charisma. Um, who can I think of? Derek Chisora, you know, mm. and Dillian White. Mm -hmm. That fight is so charismatic. It's unbelievable. But take the two of them away from the fight. Each other, it's not the same it's thing. It's not the same thing. It's not the same you thing. You could have those two fighting four or five times. People you got still it. going. That's, you, that's, that's why we're in the era. You know. You know, like, you know. Yeah. where people are making. Yeah. It's like Rocky. What's Rocky up to? Seven or something? Uh, Rocky Seven with Creed. Yeah, that'd be Rocky yeah. Seven, wouldn't it? Yeah, so, with but Creed. this is where it comes to. You know, Mad. it's endearing. Yeah. And and again, mm. conversation wise, you you look mm. at fighters that we've got here. Tony Bellew and David he exudes charisma. He's got it. He, he's just he's got it. I love watching him. I do. And and he's, again, I love even him. Carl, mm. like you look at Carl Frotch. Yeah. Carl Frotch, yeah. as a color commentator, yeah. he's par excellence. Mm -hmm. You know, he deliberates mm -hmm. as opposed to hesitates. Mm -hmm. He, you know, he, he can forecast what is going to happen with mm -hmm. great clarity mm -hmm. you know, and conviction. And at the end of the day, that's what you need. Jim Watt in the early days used to do exactly the same thing. These are all important ingredients. If your colour commentator believes in the fight, mm -hmm. he makes it mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And of course, Rich, in, in, Rich was like that, wasn't he? Yeah. Rich. yeah. And then when we when we look at social mm -hmm. media. Mm -hmm today mm -hmm. where people are have you seen this have you seen mm -hmm. that have you mm -hmm. seen so and so, and so? Mm -hmm. that's the difference between buying and, and we say as companies guying. guying you know like so in other words now i'll swerve that swerve it yeah or yeah. i want it i want it you know mm -hmm. on on eubank junior mm -hmm. to try to describe him and his future mm -hmm. project mm -hmm. product is like saying to somebody mm -hmm. there are discounted rolexes to be bought and is there a catch because you can go and flog it back at a full price that's, that's exactly what this is it's a great investment can't say it better than that okay you said it all really lovely seeing you as always pleasure and we'll see some of obviously up and down you know when it till the till the big night you know we'll probably see each other on the, along the way i do send we you will. a lot of my videos don't i okay i'll right. send you them on whatsapp yeah do you ever look on whatsapp yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah. so I kind of when I do a video, I boom, send it. I've got a list, haven't I? So I boom, boom, throw it out to people. All right, bingo. But um, yeah, what are you doing yourself otherwise? Sunshine, birds are singing. As I said at the outset, yeah, football, football, boxing, yes, football, yes. boxing, football, boxing, football, and boxing. boxing. Who do you support? What's your, good, you're good, asking, good I, I didn't know. I didn't know. I don't assume you could. You huh? could be a Tottenham fan, couldn't you? For all I know. Please. I didn't know. <laughs> I honestly didn't know. You're a gooner. Do me a favour. But let me warn all Arsenal fans now. Yeah. I I've, I've been. Do you think you should stay? I'm very though? fortunate. Yeah. Oh no, no, Wenger has to stay. Oh, he has to stay, right? Yeah, he has okay. to stay. I've been very fortunate. Yeah. In going on a commercial basis to Tottenham. Mm -hmm. That stadium that they're building is going to allow them to leapfrog. Everybody, everybody. I'm talking about Manchester United, Manchester mm -hmm. City, 
Chelsea's aspirations and everything else and us at the Emirates I thought we had the best stadium in the country mm -hmm. that stadium is something that's geared up to dominate for the next 15 20 years it, it, it's a stadium for fans you know whether you are a Tottenham fan whether you're the, the opposition mm -hmm. it, 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 it's amazing it is amazing and if it's one man's dream Daniel Levy what a legacy what a legacy so uh, well if they get the players if they keep the players for that pitch who knows what's going to happen crazy mm -hmm. on that note it's lovely seeing you Ambrose, Bingo. Wendy you always always care. God bless you Pleasure bye bye